In this episode, we're going to talk about the five ways you can catch more fish in 2021. What is up guys, welcome back to another video. I hope you're all keeping safe and well, and I hope you all had a lovely Christmas. Now, if you are a returning subscriber, it's good to see your face again. If you are new here, my name is Reese, and I make fly fishing videos and tutorials that will help you catch more fish. So if you'd like to learn more, please press that red subscribe button and smash that bell so that you don't miss out on future videos. So today we're talking about five ways that I think you can improve your own catch rate in 2021. So let's jump straight into it. Number one. So the one key aspect that improved my fishing about four years ago was structure. And what I mean by that is the time that you spend fishing effectively. So the best way I can explain this to you is to look at two different anglers. We've got angler one here and we've got angler two. They both fish on one lake and this lake has seven pegs around it each with about 10 fish in front of them. So that's 70 fish total on the lake. Now, before you say it, I know some pegs will have more than 10 fish compared to others. But for the principle of this example, you'll get what I'm coming from in a second. So let's say for example, angler one is someone that is just quite relaxed in the fishing and is happy to sit on one peg for an hour to an hour and a half. Angler two is somebody that won't fish a peg for longer than 30 minutes. Now, if we take a day in January where it's cold, there's no hatch because the temperatures are so low, there's rain, there's wind, they're both gonna fish the same method, which is lures, perhaps a damsel or a cat's whisker or a viva on an intermediate or sinking line. So if angler one is fishing for an hour and a half on one peg, he's fishing over 10 fish for that entire time. Let's say for example, he picks up two quick fish on a damsel and then he goes quiet for a little bit and then he picks up with a cat's whisker and takes up another two fish. Now angler two has covered three different pegs in the same amount of time that angler one has. And because of that, he's covered 30 fish. And it might not be the case that angler two catches four fish off of each of those pegs adopting that same approach of 15 minutes per fly. But what it does do, it stacks the odds in his favour because he is covering three times as many fish as angler one. And the aim of this game is to put the odds in your favour. So if you look at it as a three hour session, angler one has covered 20 fish over two pegs and angler two has covered 60 fish over six pegs. And it doesn't take a genius to work out who is going to end up with more fish at the end of the day. And like my father once told me, it's better to cast once at a thousand fish than it is to cast a thousand times at the same fish. So to bring that full circle, if you apply a structured approach to your fishing in 2021, you will end up covering more fish, and as a result, should end up with more fish in the net. Okay, and then number two, so use that Christmas money that you've just had to invest in an extra setup. In this day and age now, if you want to increase your catch rate and remain competitive, most anglers will fish with three rods. That's what FIPS Moosh allows, that is the norm in most competitions these days. So if you are somebody that fishes with one rod or two rods, a bit to two or three, and it doesn't have to be expensive. These days now you can pick up a reel for 20 quid, a line for 25 quid, and a brand new rod for 40 quid. And the reason why I'm encouraging you to invest in a second or third setup is simple, it's all about time management. If you and I are out on a lake together fishing, and the fish react early on to lures, but then they switch off. I can just pick up my second rod, which has got nymphs on it, and start fishing straight away. Whereas you have to dismantle the cast, dismantle the line, put everything away, bring out the new reel or line, set up a new cast, pick your flies, and you can waste 15 minutes doing that, which in that time, I can pick up one or two fish early on. So bite the bullet, buy you another setup. It doesn't have to be expensive, but it 100% will increase your chances of more fish. So number three, is this you? Are you the person that arrives on a lake, and we've all been guilty of this, landed on our spot, ripped a pile of line off the spool by our feet, and then chucked a beautiful 30 yard cast? If that is you, you're taking the entirely wrong approach. Carp match anglers fish margins, fish edges, fish really precise locations around the lake. 
and that is something that we don't do enough of. Next time you're out on the lake, think about what's in front of you, think about what is under the water, what features there are, what depth there is, and don't necessarily aim to try and chuck 40 yards straight away. More often than not, it pays to just fish six foot to your right, or four foot to your left, or 12 foot in front of you for a good 20 minutes, because there will be fish cruising in that area more often than not. And when you're chucking a 30 yard line out, yeah, you'll have fish far out, but you've just spooked everything that was right in front of you without giving it a chance to see your flies and possibly take them. So fish the margins, stop trying to cast to the heavens and just fish what's around you. Okay, and the number four, enter your first competition. Now competitions are a really good way to learn modern still water techniques. You'll normally be fishing around either anglers who are very accomplished or anglers who know that fishery very well. And within that, you can learn a lot from others. When we first started fishing in competitions, we were terrible, we were horrendous. But with all the failures is where you learn the most. You learn about what you did wrong, what you should have done instead, what you can do better next time. And it is hard. It is hard to sit there and have someone next to you catch 20 fish to your two or three. But you've got to remember that that person who caught 20 fish who won the competition, at some stage they were where you were at today. But they've just gone through the process, they've had their failures, and on that day they nailed it. But you can have a day like that, you can be that person, but without entering your first competition and going through these leagues and stuff, then you won't get acclimatized to and pick up the skills that these anglers have. So don't let it put you off. Even if it's a local friendly league or something like that, those are the starting blocks that you need to get you into the point where you feel comfortable and confident enough to say trial for your country, for example. Okay, and then number five is education. So put the time in, start looking at things like YouTube channels like this, which will help you with methods and flies. And there are other channels out there as well. Start buying magazines, hire a guide, buy some books, ask some questions on a Facebook group if you're not sure of the answer. We as a fly fish community are very helpful. But if you don't ask the question, then nobody knows you need the help. And that applies the same on a lake as well. So if you are fishing on a lake and there's one person who's had a red light a day and you're one of the people that have struggled, don't be afraid of going up and asking them for help. And if you're an advanced angler watching this and someone approaches you asking you for help, you were them at some stage in your fishing career. And so the same way that when you were starting off and struggling to understand it all, they are in that same position today. So that is my five tips to help you catch more fish in 2021. Please don't forget, if you found this video useful or helpful, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed already, please consider subscribing. My name is Reese. thank you for watching, and I will see you in 2021.